Hey, good afternoon. It's Pastor Joe uh, live from my house this time. Another home edition as we do most Saturdays, Shabbat. Um, welcome, blessings, Shabbat Shalom on this brutally uh, humid so far Saturday, the 6th of May, 2020. We're grateful that you're along and um, here um, just um, praying and reading the word and uh, just thinking different things about the lawlessness that's going on and injustices that have happened with black Americans for the past 75 to 100 years. Yes, injustices, they really do. I've been a witness to them. I've been, you know, with people that have got harassed by police. So it does happen. It really does happen. And you need to know that it's a real deal. It's not just uh, a few people who are complaining, saying that this happens, but it's a real deal. There are people who are really tormented and persecuted and beaten and falsely sent to jail. And we, I look out at these, and, and again, I, I agree, and I just saw posts on Twitter and Facebook and, you know, some of them saying, you know, Matthew 24, because of the um, lawlessness, the love of many will wax cold, and I see that. But I also want to share, I'm not going to be on Ephesians today, because I want to share um, just something here from the book of Romans that I was reading today. Talking about the transgression of the law and what that means. It says, moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. When God gave the law, it was to prove sin. You know that. It's to show us that we're sinners. But I want, it's, we're in Romans 5.20b. And I want you to listen to this. But where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. So that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Christ Jesus the Lord. Where sin abounded, grace abounded the much more. Yes. When I see lawlessness in the streets and I see all the craziness now, I am getting ready for a revival. And I think you need to too, because God is going to do a work. Listen, I want to tell you, it isn't us and the president in our country. It's God who is the king of the universe. It's the Lord God who's in charge. And things are bad now. I Yes, I know that. And the sin abounding, of course it is. But my God is greater than that. And he'll use this. You know, last time we had um, peace demonstrations and riots in the late 60s. In the early 70s, people were tearing things apart too. Yes, it did happen. It wasn't as bad as today. I know that. Don't, don't think I'm a fool. I already know that. But the result of it was a revival. God poured his spirit out on people and the Jesus people movement was birthed out of that. People seeking social justice. And listen, Christians should be the first ones who want social justice, don't you? Don't you want social justice? Of course, we're the first ones. But we need to know and we need to see right now, you and I, what God is doing. We need to press into him and his spirit to see what he's going to do. What are you saying, Pastor? Don't you disagree? Yes, of course. I think it's crazy. I was here mourning for a couple days that lawlessness is so bad in the inner city. It's horrible. But God can do a lot more than that. Where sin abounds. Grace does the much more about. That's what God says. That's a God I serve. 
And yes, revival can be birthed out of this. And I hope you'll join. Pray for revival. That's the only hope for the country. The hope for the country isn't some kind of new leadership or have all Republicans in the House and Senate. That would be good, but that's not the answer. The answer is Jesus Christ and his spirit being poured out and people coming to him. He says in the last days, saith God, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. And I'm waiting for that time. We've been waiting, oh, why? Since forever. The great end time revival that's coming. And you can be sure of it. And you can know that. And when you think about God's word, but where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. Yes. The Bible does say that you cannot out grace. It really does say that. I know some people don't like it, but it says that. Because where there's a lot of sin, that means. where The new translations would say where sin increased, grace increased much more. Sin is abounding. Lawlessness is abounding. But God's grace is abounding. Just think about that. God's in control. He doesn't, he isn't like saying, Oh, wow, what are they doing down there? No, he sees that. He gets more, he probably gets weirded out like I do. What in the world? They're saying social distancing, but if you're doing that, you don't have to social distance. I mean, it's kind of crazy. But I just want you to know that God, the Lord God, our Heavenly Father, is in charge and he's the king of the universe not no man on earth and yes things are being set up for antichrist i know that and you know that too but guess what god is greater than antichrist god is greater than anyone and he's able to work through all this and he's able to work through you and use you you could be used listen if people start getting saved god's going to need you to disciple them so God can use you. He's not done with you yet. Don't think, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm 50, I'm 60, you know, God's done with me. No, God still can use you. If you're 70 or 80, God can still use you. Where sin abounded, where sin increased. In fact, I'll read from a newer translation. Where sin increased, grace increased all the more. It says it. Plain English. Sin increases, grace increases. And so what do we do? What do you and I, me and you, we get to rejoice in this and see that instead of worrying, oh no, what's happening? Yeah, of course, bad things always happen all over the world. It's going to be here for a little while. Like I said, hey, Center City, well, a couple streets in it look like Beirut or Syria or Iraq, but they will get better. And God's grace is going to get better. And you and I are going to be better off. I'd rather have revival and less stuff than have more stuff and a dead form of religion. I want to see God's spirit move. I want to see God's spirit be poured out on all flesh. I want to be here for revival. I you know, always had little spurts, but I want to be here for a great revival, a move of God's spirit and drawing people's hearts to him, accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior by their choice, by faith. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't you be excited to see that? I know I would. As yes, Lynn said, some of the protests have been getting more peaceful. They have. And I believe that God can use these young people. God can. He really can. And, and I, I really think we need to let go and let God. I, I know that there's, you know, bad, mean people who want to get attention. But there's also people who grew up in churches. And their grandma and their mom had put a seed of the word of God in them. It's going to come. It's going to come. So get excited because God is on the move 
and, and we should be excited. We should be praying. And I hope you're praying. That's what we're here to do, by the way, in a couple of minutes. We pray and we seek God for a time such as this. God's going to do something. God's going to do a work. Let the Lord God do it. Give him his space to do it. Let God be God. He doesn't have to listen to me or you. He's the Lord. He knows everyone's hearts. He knows my heart. He knows your heart. And he knows the creepy things in us. And he knows the things he likes in us. He is God. You are not. A government official? Not. There's only one God. And that's the God that we serve. And I pray that we will continue to serve and to love him and allow God to do a work in what's going on. Because I am, you know me, I'm one of the people. I have had friends who are African American. I've been with them and they got pulled over. I've seen the difference the way I get treated and they got treated. I saw it. And you need to know that. We all need to know that. And Bapchi just said, loves me. I love her too. Um, greetings, Bapchi. Um, why don't you all say hi to her, guys? Say hi to Bapchi, who's uh, joined us with her son and her daughter. And so I've been with people. I've seen the way African Americans get treated differently by law enforcement. Oh, well, you know, there's more. Yes, I know. I, I understand all that. But not all people by the color of their skin should be judged. And I hope you don't do that. I hope you don't have any of that in you. And if you do, you need to repent. There are people who do need to repent. And there's some of us who already know that. And it grieves us to see what's going on. But where sin abounds, grace doth all the more abound. Where sin increases, grace increases more. Remember that. Now, you know what the very next verse says after chapter 5 says, shall we continue sinning that grace may abound? No way. What's the matter with you? That's what he says. So we should continue to love. So love can abound with grace. And God can do a work in your life, the people around you, in your environment. And God can bring revival and use you. Yes, you. No matter if you're 15 or 50, if you're 6 or 60, or if you're 10 or 100, God can still use you to disciple people to him. Amen? Amen. We're going to pray now. We're going to pray against this virus. We're going to pray for what's going on in the streets. And we're going to pray for our cities and for our government. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much. We praise your name and we worship you. And we ask you, Lord, to bless, Father, your word going forth from here, from us, from our church, from anywhere, Lord. Bless, Lord, your people. Whether they're praying in their houses, they're in the streets, bless them, Lord. And I ask for revival, please, Lord. Let us see a revival. Even before this country ends, let there be a great revival that we go out with you, Lord. Lord, we pray against the spirit of Antichrist and the spirit of lawlessness in this country, Lord. We just ask you to overcome it because we know where sin increases, your grace increases much more. And we thank you. Lord, curse and destroy coronavirus. Obliterate it from us, Lord, completely, 100%. May it never come back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're thankful, Lord, that Dr. Fauci says that schools must open and uh, great things are going to happen again, Lord. We're so excited, Lord. May we live for you when we're going back doing things. And Lord, we ask for a blessing on both police brutality and brutality to police, Lord, in the streets. Please be intervene there by the power of your Holy Spirit. Overcome and draw to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, we thank you for joining us. 
Tomorrow is the only day that we don't have a noon broadcast. That's because usually at noon we're still on the air from our live worship service at Gateway Christian Church in Woodbury, New Jersey. You're invited to join us either in person or you can just, if you want, watch. We'll have the whole service. I said during the next several weeks, we're going to continue to broadcast the whole service. There's going to come a point where we're just going to broadcast the teaching section. And that's only because we always get all these copyright claims on songs that we do. And it's a lot of paperwork and playing games that yours truly has to do, uh, which I don't mind, but there's come a time when we'll be able to gather together. Now, on Father's Day, that's Father's Day, not this Sunday, but next Sunday is going to be our big opening. Tomorrow's going to be another day where you're able to come. If you come, please bring a mask. Now, what I personally, not a ban of masks, but I want to obey the government. God says to do that. So, you know, whether they were, if, if you're sick and you have coronavirus, don't come, stay home. Uh, we're not taking temperatures at this time, but we might have to in the future if we have uh, people who come when they're not feeling well. I know they wouldn't. I don't know why they would if you're high fever to come there, except maybe to be prayed for, but we can pray for you anywhere. God can touch you. But so if you come tomorrow, we look forward to seeing you because we're going to worship and celebrate the God, the God that we just talked about, the God who will bring revival. And uh, don't forget, uh, you can go on our website for all the past teachings. They're all there. Videos, audio, going back years. You could enjoy yourself and study the word. You could click on give and you could give your tithes and offerings the gateway if you haven't done that. Um, yes, we've been blessed. We have people who give regularly, electronically, and mailing checks. And thank you so much. Thank you. But we do need to maintain uh, regular income. And that's been very hard during this time. But guess what? We serve a great God. And he will bless those who give. I really believe that. In fact, I know that. Because he's blessed us. And finally, uh, you can uh, get our email that we sent yesterday. Please, if it goes in your spam, please unspam it and reply. Click whatever you have to do. That helps Gateway. If you haven't liked the Gateway Facebook page, do it, please, because that helps us. And please, again, if you haven't subscribed to Gateway Woodbury, New Jersey YouTube, please subscribe to us. That helps us also. We thank you for joining us today. And look forward to seeing you tomorrow until God's richest blessings are upon you and that you walk in his joy and that he brings revival and comes on all flesh. Amen.